Alright guys, today I'm just going to show you real quick how to replace a motherboard on an Asus desktop. It's an uh, Sensio series. So uh, we're going to go ahead and what you do is you start off with the cover, which we already did that. That's pretty self-explanatory. So you just a couple screws down towards the end of the case here. Take those out, slide the panel off, and you can get access to the motherboard. Uh, you see here he's got a video card in here. I've already went and unplugged the PCIe uh, cables from that uh, the video card that powers it. We took that out. And um, we also are going to have to take out these back two screws. Uh, sometimes it's uh, you know a little clip panel that you can take off. You take that off so you can get the video card out. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, then we're going to unplug this power uh, cable that's going from the power supply to the motherboard. Take that out, do just a little click on there, you press that, pull. Uh, usually I like to take out the hard, this stuff uh, to get it out of my way, that's the hard drive uh, SATA connection that goes to the motherboard. And this is the power cable that comes from the power supply. So we go ahead and kind of get that out of the way. Kind of jam that up in there. And kind of get that out of the way. And then you're going to remove your RAM sticks. This is how you take out the RAM. You just pull these little clips here on each side and that kind of just pops them out. Um, then you're going to have to take out, there's usually another cable here that goes to the motherboard that uh, comes from the power supply. It's usually for your power, your fan, your motherboard. And then um, you're going to have to take out the heat sink. <clears throat> it's the hardest part uh, to take out the processor. So, every one of these is usually a little different. Uh, this one here looks like just a little clip. You loosen that. And we may have to. Looks like it just comes, pops right out. There's a little, you see that little uh, clip there? It just pops out. After you unleash that, you do the same on this side. And then see if we got the heat sink loose. This one wasn't too bad got that to come off pretty easy so that's the heat sink unfortunately the processor got stuck uh, so you gotta be careful about that sometimes you want to wiggle it a little bit try not to take the processor out with it but it's okay if it does just make sure none of the pins or anything are bent so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the screws out for the video card and then uh, we're gonna take the screws out for the motherboard Alright, so what I did is I just applied a little bit of pressure just to kind of pop that uh, processor off. You can see the silicone uh, compound was there and that's why it got stuck to it. So, there's also another uh, cord here I'm going to have to take out. It's going to the motherboard to the fan here. So we're going to take that out and uh, we'll take the video card out. Alright, so now you see I got this, these screws out, this little clip just slides right out that was holding in the video card. So now, there's going to be a little clip down there, you're just going to have to press that and just kind of give it a little pull upwards on the video card. It just pops out. Be careful with this guy. It's a pretty nice video card he's got in there. Make sure it's clean of dust and everything like that. Um, for the processor, if it wouldn't have came out before, you're actually the right way to take it out. You got to take this little clip, pop that out, and that's how you're supposed to take the processor out. These uh, RAM sticks are unclipped, so we can just go ahead and just kind of pull those out. Now we are ready to go ahead and start pulling out the screws out of the motherboard. So 
Looks like there's one there, top left. Uh, there's a couple there. One, two, you see them there. Uh, there's uh, several cables going in here. There's one green one, two blue ones, small black one, small black one. These are the SATA connections going to the hard drive and the DVD player. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop those out and, and we got this video so we can kind of remember where they go back. And uh, we'll pop out them screws. There's another screw there. Another screw right there. And there's one at the top right there, looks like. Another one right there. So we go ahead and pull those out. Um, I don't think we're going to need to pull out these. We might need to. There. And once you pop that out, we should be ready for the new motherboard. Uh, we're still waiting on it to ship in. So. I'll go ahead and uh, take this one out and resume the video. <clears throat> just wanted to throw this part in the video too. This is uh, an important part of the procedure. Uh, when you're replacing a motherboard, you want to make sure and get the model number off of it. In this case, uh, the model number is here. Uh, sometimes it's a little harder to find. Sometimes it'll be kind of like in this type of lettering. It usually starts off with like an M or something of that sort for the part number. You just kind of got to search for it. Uh, a lot of times I'll go on eBay like Amazon and uh, you'll find a replacement for a decent price alright guys uh, we got our new motherboard in the mail today uh, so I went ahead and uh, took out the screws it was about uh, two four six eight, eight screws um, so once you take out all the screws unplug the cables everything's unplugged you just go ahead and uh, just watch these cables, I mean these uh, peripherals here, just kind of go ahead and just slide that out. So I'm trying to do this one handed here. So we just go ahead and take out the old motherboard which was bad. And uh, the problem we were having with that one was it was uh, issues with lines and the screen, the onboard video was bad and it was freezing up on the user. So then what you do is you just go ahead and slide this one in, put in the screws, and um, we'll go ahead and plug back in the cables. So uh, be right back. Alright, we got the new, uh, the new motherboard installed in there. Had to use two hands so I couldn't uh, keep the video rolling. But um, basically you just kind of slide it in there, kind of make sure that that lines up on the bottom and the holes line up and go ahead and put your screws in um, we had SATA uh, 6 we had to plug that cable back in that one was going to the uh, CD-ROM drive and we had SATA 1 which is going to be going back into your uh, that's going to be going into your hard drive that's going to go plug in there I'm going to plug in the power first so you gotta plug in the the SATA power cables for your hard drive. Doesn't really matter which one you plug in, but usually I try to pick one that kind of lines up with it. And uh, you just kind of plug that back in. That just slides. Should just slide right in. Let me make sure the the uh, port lines up. Trouble. Let's try a different one. I think that was the one that was in there, so that one went right in. And then we'll go ahead and plug in this other SATA cable. Alright, so then we had these cables here uh, that go to the front of the computer for the power button and the USB. Um, this one went and plugged in right here and you can kind of look at the pins pin configuration and see if that lines up and I had it backwards so 
you want to make sure you don't bend the pins. Make sure you put that in there right. And we had, uh, I had marked this one with some tape. This one had went to USB 910 because we had two blue cables. And I usually try to keep everything exactly how it was. Although it might not really matter, they're both USB. The green one went right here. Uh, we have one more. This one. Let's see, was that it? That was this one here. This small one went in the uh, the end closest to the edge. And there was two parts there, but it went in that one. All right, so we got the cables black plugged in. Sorry if the video was uh, a little blurry while I was doing that. All right, so now we got processor. What I did is I went ahead and I um, cleaned off the old compound, the thermal compound. That's what uh, seals the bond between the heat sink here and the processor. That's what keeps it cool. So you want to make sure that you thermal compound it. Um, see if you can see there's a little arrow on one side of the processor and you look at your motherboard and you can see that arrow right there on the bottom left so you want to match up those arrows you want to make sure you don't put the processor in there wrong because you will bend the pins so you want to make sure that the pins line up so make sure you put that in there right so I got the arrow there so you just kind of set it in there don't push it you don't want to bend the pins otherwise you're going to need a new processor or you know sometimes you can bend them back but once you damage them that's it so we'll go ahead and just make sure that fits snugly in there we had this unlocked position now we go ahead and lock that push it down and underneath that little uh, tab there and then you go ahead and put a uh, thin layer of your thermo compound. I usually just go ahead and use my finger. And you can use like a little plastic utensil or whatever you want to do. And um, kind of just go ahead and smooth that over kind of like butter on there. And you don't want to put too much. But uh, you want to put a good amount. Just have like a thin layer. Make sure you just kind of seal the bond. So, let's see if you can really see it. And I like to use my finger just because it's easier. It's a little messy, but. Alright, so we got a thin layer on that. Uh, you can sometimes put a little bit of the excess on here if you want and kind of smear that around. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put the, the heat sink back on. Um, like I showed you before, there's two clips there. So those just kind of wrap around the bracket here, the mounting bracket, which we did not need to transfer from the old motherboard that gave us one. They also had a BIOS battery in here, so we need to transfer that. And uh, pretty much we're just going to put the heat sink back on, put the RAM back in. Uh, you're going to plug back in the power, power supply right there. Just how I took it off in the beginning video. And uh, you should be good to go. So um, I'm not going to finish showing you that part. I pretty much had that covered. Uh, so I hope you guys just found this video helpful. And um, keep uh, stay tuned for more how-to videos. Thanks.